Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps for upgrading to the latest release on your RIO Gateway. The first step should be to check what release you're currently on, and you can do that by curling localhost port 3000 slash AR dash IO slash info. It'll show you your release number at the end. I am at release number five. I know that release six is out, so I'm going to upgrade to that. Make sure you're in your RIO repository and then git pull will pull down all of the latest releases from the repository. If you don't have an output like this, it means that, most likely, you have a git error caused by local changes you've made and Git doesn't know how to resolve this with the changes that are coming in from GitHub. You can find a lot of Git tutorials online, but the simplest way to deal with it for now is to just run the command git stash. This will put away all of your changes in one place where you can restore them later if you'd like to. You shouldn't need to restore any of your changes because the RIO gateway code is fully self-contained unless you have specific customization you don't need to change the code at all for it to run properly. If when you check your release, your release number ends in dash pre, P-R-E, it means that you're on the develop branch of the repository where our engineers stage all of the updates and changes before they are ready and stable for production. To fix all that, you only need to use git checkout main. Now I know I'm already on the main branch, but if you run this command and it says switched to branch, that means you've successfully switched over to another branch and you should get an output that looks like this. If you don't, it's possible that you have another git error that can be solved with a git stash. Once you've pulled all the updates, all you're going to do is shut down your gateway with docker compose down. It's a good idea when updating to use the dash dash rmi all because it will delete all of your Docker images so that you don't accidentally use a cached image instead of the ones that are being pulled from the GitHub repository. I can see that the images were removed and Docker has stopped, so all you need to do to start your gateway back up is sudo docker compose up dash d. You don't need the build flag anymore since release 3 Docker will just automatically build on its own, so you won't need to tell it to do that. Once you do this, it will go through the process and this will take a few minutes. Now that it's done, you can check your release again with curl. You'll see that you're now on the release 6 and the upgrade process will be the same for every release going forward. If there are any changes, they will be announced explicitly so that you can follow along.